In this video, we're going to look at chamfer milling. When it comes to chamfer milling, there's two possible scenarios. One is we're going to be milling a chamfer on a part that's already modeled in Inventor, and the other is we're precision deburring an edge which is currently a sharp edge on your model. Throughout the course of the video, we're going to discuss both scenarios. If you plan to follow along, open and save part 7.9. When we create a chamfer milling operation, we're actually just going to be creating a 2D dimensional contour. So let's select 2D contour. From the library, we can select our chamfer mill, accept it, and then move on to the geometry tab. The first chamfer we're going to select is the one that we already modeled in Inventor. In this situation, we want to select the bottom edge. We need to make sure the tool's on the outside of the contour, so let's verify that my arrow is on the outside of the contour which will run around the outside of the part. Next, select the Passes tab. On the Passes tab, when we're using a tool that's defined as a chamfer mill, this option will be activated by default when the chamfering tool has been selected. The top parameter will be used when we're chamfering a sharp edge, but the bottom parameter should be used in every situation. When we adjust the tip offset, the tool will lower and move away from the edge to maintain the same size chamfer, but machine it higher up on the tool. We're going to use an offset of 20 thousandths of an inch. With our offset set, select OK. Now, let's quickly run through the process of applying a chamfer that might be better noted as a precision deburn operation to the edge of our bore. Again, we're going to select 2D contour and use the same chamfering tool. On the Geometry tab, select the bore edge. Remember to double check and make sure your machining operation is machining on the inside of that contour. We can then move on to the Passes tab. Again, we want the tip offset at 20 thousandths of an inch. But in this case, we also need to define the size of the chamfer. When you're using the chamfer operation to do precision deburring, my suggestion is that you set the size to 5 thousandths of an inch. Now, it's also very important to note every time you're using a chamfering tool for precision deburring. You should take a test cut because it's very difficult to properly pick your chamfering tool on the machine and the variance of just two or three thousandths of an inch is going to have a visible impact on your precision deburring operation. Select OK and our toolpath is generated. Let's conclude this example by running a stock simulation. Remember to select the setup folder to ensure that the simulation runs on the entire job. Here we can see the large chamfer that's been applied to the top of the part and the small precision deburring operation applied to the inside bore.